Uh, Chief Brandon, are you here mainly to talk about the street? Are you just here for? I'm not coming to visit. No, you don't. You don't have to come to us. Since we didn't make you come no more, well, you had to come to us as we asked you. Well, I basically needed to find out how the decision was going to be for Bigelow Street, so I wouldn't know what to do with that. But if you want to talk about the plan of action, I'll be happy to talk about Do we want to go ahead and talk? Is there anything to talk about on that? On the plan of action on the closing of the street for a pumpkin fence? I mean, is that that's yeah, pretty much point? Okay. Think it's all been all right. been done by the not that you're not welcome to stay. I'm just trying to give you an well, answer. I'm glad you've given me an answer. I'm really <laughs> okay. Because when we don't when we don't remember you at budget time, you'll at least remember I gave you an answer. Uh, you, you give it, you take it for money. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, We'll turn the matter over here to our town attorney, John Hinton, Jr. He's got a few matters to talk about. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. This first one is the North Carolina Local Government Debt Set-Off Program that uh, several of the board members were, uh, may have heard about. It was uh, presented in that League of Municipalities uh, Services Showcase. Um, the program is a creature of the League of Municipalities working with the Association of County Commissioners and the the state to provide a program whereby local governments who are owed for certain things from citizens, essentially property taxes, the big one we're talking about, um, can and aren't paid, can submit the names of the people who haven't paid their property tax bill. Uh, the um, Department of Revenue will can now take that money out of uh, any tax refund that that person would do. Uh, so for instance, if somebody owes a thousand dollar property tax bill, um, this program is, we'll, we would sub submit their name after a process that I'll tell you about in just a second to uh, this program that would monitor them for a tax refund that they were getting. If they had a $2,000 tax refund, they would take out of that Fifteen dollars. That's their fee in return to the town. A whole thousand dollars that we're the town's owed for, for taxes. Um, so essentially, as long as the money, the whole amount that is there, uh, the program collects its fee, and we get all of the tax money that we're due. So um, I think it's a really innovative idea and something we ought we ought to do. Um, there is a process, and if you'll flip to the, the third page of the, um, that section of the agenda, the, um, this explains the notice um, <coughs> requirement you have to give a person 30 days notice. And then, um, under number three there, it explains what all they would be informed of, how the, the process works, um, and who at the town they can apply to have a, a hearing with. That's, that's one of the things if you if it's the will of the board to <coughs> do the program, uh, and that would be my um, recommendation to you, you would need to designate who at the town would be uh, sort of like a hearing officer for, for making sure these debts are really owed and we've got the right person and so on and so, so forth like that. Um, <coughs> and I don't know if the manager had some thoughts on who, who would be that person um, but we would have, we've got the approval to designate the person that the board so chooses to go yes, to the program. Right. Um, so, having said that, I'd be more than happy to answer your question. What's the downside? I, I don't know. Um, part of the memo, um, and one thing to mention is that, uh, the memo of under, memorandum of agreement that's in here, um, is that the if, if what's owed in property taxes is a thousand dollars, like I said, they're going to, and the person has a two thousand dollar refund coming their way from the state, they're going to collect the fifteen dollars and then send the thousand to us. But if they were, if they had nine hundred and fifty dollars coming back to them, we're owed a thousand. The program is still going to collect its fifteen dollars, and we get back nine thirty five on on our thousand. Um, so either way, the fifteen dollars is. You know, if they if they collect for us, that gets charged. But we still would be doing a lot better than just having at that unpaid bill. Is this a yearly basis? You submit. You have to submit. You I think you have to actually re-up your 
the, the memorandum of agreement with them each year um, and submit the names, I think, on a yearly basis. Based on the tax cycle. Yeah. Based on the tax cycle. Yeah. And what are we going to do about the last? This didn't exist until very recently. This is this is really brand new. Um, well, I understand that, but that would be something to collect our money. Uh, it depends on which kind of tax or uh, debt, or it depends on what we're talking about. But there there are legal means at our our disposal to collect collect tax dollars. I mean, for instance, there's wage garnishment. There's um, the, you know we do have the ability to foreclose on properties if we're if we're owed taxes. Um, we have been undergoing a pretty big effort to, to send out letters to people that have owed taxes for a number of years back, and have had a really good response on it. I don't know if, Sam, if you know the number off the top of your head. It's sub. I mean, last the last three months it was over fifty thousand dollars yeah. in taxes that we're almost had to be written off. Interest and actual back taxes. It's been very successful. And if we were to be involved in this program, we wouldn't be a stop from doing any other method of collection. No, no, it's, it's just not a substitute. Right. right. It's just an additional. Right. It's another tool in the, in the kit. What are you looking tonight? Um, if, if it's the will of the board to proceed, um, you would need to well, actually, I'm sorry, it's the first page under here. The, uh, we need to approve uh, the resolution um, I guess you would direct direct me to adapt it for uh, the town and to have the mayor sign. Um, it, it also does ask you to designate the person to conduct the hearing. So if you're going to do it tonight, we need to, you know, determine who who that's going to be. I still Sorry. have a question. Yes. Sir. <laughs> uh, just in looking this over uh, the other night, it looks to me like. <coughs> There are a whole lot simpler ways of collecting the back due tax. There's a lot of hoops to put, jump through on this. Hearings and everything under the sun. I'm just wondering, is this not adding a bunch of layers to debt collection which we don't for now have? In the very worst cases, you would ha you might have somebody try to have a hearing about mm -hmm. a debt that we're we're gonna be certain they owe it. You know, mm -hmm. it's not it's not really gonna be a question. Um, and there's a lot simpler ways for them to, to have this hearing. If they can come in and show I paid it, you know, for instance, well, that'll be the end of that matter. I think the vast majority of these, uh, it, it's a much simpler method, actually, this of, of collection. Yes, sir, I think it is. Because it doesn't, it would require very little staff time to, to collect on, uh, for a big return. You know, it's, it's basically going to be just to monitor a list of names that are already collected and, and maintained by the county anyway that we can pull down and send to in, in one fell swoop in an email to, to the program. Well, I would say if the topic keeps going the way I think it's going, somebody's going to be busy. Yeah. One other question. Uh, if, if they're not paying the yeah town taxes are probably not paying the county taxes. <coughs> so would this require the county adopting the same resolution? No, but I think the county could also join the program. I mean, the, the idea is for any local government to be able to submit names of, you know, tax debtors to. I listened to this presentation and I never heard any downside on it. Throughout know, all the Sam, wouldn't it be appropriate for the manager to at least be the initial person? I'm sure we could change it as we... I would suggest the wording on it is you designate the town manager and or his designee oh, and then the next I look by. I think that'd be particular. With that, uh, with that, is there a motion? I move to adopt it. Second. All in favor, raise your hand. Okay. What, you, what else you got, John? Um, Mike Gerben passed out to you a, uh, a different version of this resolution um, that's been updated to include the dates that we're required to have for this next um, next thing. So instead of the one that's in your packet, that's that's the one I asked you to look at. Um, this is the next step in the involuntary annexation process. It's 
the same one that we followed in the past and essentially uh, declares the town's intent to look at annexation of the parcels that are attached to this uh, in this map and outlined uh, filled in blue. Um, it's the same process we've used in the past for involuntary annexation. <coughs> I, I would ask you know, to approve the resolution that would uh, set the uh, informational hearing for November 22nd at 5.30 um, here. Uh, and now that is a staff, primarily a staff uh, hosting event. Uh, is, it, is everyone comfortable <coughs> with our thought process behind this involuntary annexation uh, procedure that we're going through? Is that everybody have a chance to hear from Mr. Grooveman about his and just the rationale behind it. Are we comfortable with it? Okay. That said, then we have, we have a motion in this time. John, what would be some appropriate numbers for a motion? Uh, it would be to adopt the resolution. Mike, is there anything else in that? That needed to be filled in, or did you get it? No, that's, that's all that needed to be filled in. Uh, just, just to adopt the resolution as presented by Mr. Gruber, please. I make that motion. Is there a second? Is there a second? I'll Any discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Okay. I'm a little bit hesitant, so I'll make November 26th. Second was my birthday. <laughs> 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 well, we're going to was. Yeah. That's not all. You better say yes. <laughs> well, just, just, just for your information, the board members are not obligated to come that. This is an informational explanation to the people on the list. So, so you can make your notice. But if he does, somebody bring him a cake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>